Today I'm going to show you how to turn a plank like this into a sword like this, using no power tools. But first, let's clean the workbench. To make the sword, you'll need the templates, some tools like a saw, a chisel and slash or a wood plane, some sandpaper, maybe a rasp and a wooden plank. In my case, it's a plank from an old pallet. The first step will be to stick the templates together. Then cut the template out using your psychic powers. Then lay the template onto your plank. It should of course fit onto the plank. Also make sure that there won't be holes or similar voids in your sword. Then mark the length of your sword and cut off the needed piece using a saw. To secure the template onto the wood, I use tape through which I can see the lines fairly well. Now, if you have a good coping saw, you can just saw the whole thing out. But today we are going to do something different. First, you will have to saw slots into the plank, which barely touch the lines. Then use the grain of the wood to remove big chunks of the plank with just a chisel. After the big bulk of material is removed, use the chisel and later on a wood plane to get the shape of the blade just right. Don't underestimate how quickly a wood flame with a well sharpened blade can remove material. The surface of these cuts are a lot smoother than you could reach with usual sanding.
As you can see, this method is great to make long, linear contours. But the same method can also be used to make the hilt, grip and pommel. It just is more work to do it because of the round contours. A rasp like this is great for concave shapes, like on the front side of the hill. To round off the grip, it's a good idea to remove the majority of the material with a chisel and then do the fine work with sandpaper. Round of concave shapes, just wrap it all with sandpaper. The wood plane is just the perfect tool to sharpen the blade. If you want the blade to have a round dish shape, use sandpaper with a rough grit to get the shape correct. And then use sandpaper with a finer grit to smoothen the whole saw. A coat of damn! A coat of varnish greatly enhances the look of the sword, but also its water and impact resistance. With a good coat of varnish, and a not very thin edge, the sword will be strong enough to withstand some sword duels. I wrap the sword grip with just some cord. This gives it a way better handling and also makes it look a bit cooler. Just as always, thanks a lot for watching.
I know that I don't upload videos very often, like once a week or so, but if you like what I do, please go on and give this video a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to my channel. That would help me a lot. Also, if you want to see sneak peeks of the projects, you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram. For example, I uploaded photos of this sort some days before I uploaded this video. Thanks and bye bye.